You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number seven of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. The lesson is titled Indestructible Hope and is ready for teaching on August 13. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today, your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Wednesday, August 10. Our Father's Plans for Us. Everyone is looking for hope, but where is it found? For some people, hope is found in the smile of a friend. For others, hope grows out of financial security or a stable marriage. Where do you normally look for hope and courage? In the book of Jeremiah, the prophet is writing to people who had lost hope in their exile. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion, we read in Psalm 137 verse 1. But even though they are heartbroken, Jeremiah lays out reasons they should not give up hope. What reasons for hope are given in Jeremiah 29 verses 1 to 10? Now, these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem to the remainder of the elders who were carried away captive, to the priests, the prophets, and all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. This happened after Jeconiah the king, the queen mother, the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem, the craftsmen, and the smiths had departed from Jerusalem. The letter was sent by the hand of Elisa, the son of Shaphan, and Gemariah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to Babylon, to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all who were carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and dwell in them, plant gardens and eat their fruit, Take wives and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands, so that they may bear sons and daughters, that you may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive, and pray to the Lord for it, for in its peace you will have peace. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Do not let your prophets and your diviners who are in your midst deceive you, nor listen to your dreams which you cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely to you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. For thus says the Lord, After seventy years are completed at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my word, my good word toward you, and cause you to return to this place. In this passage, there are three important sources of hope worth highlighting. First, God tells his people that they should not give up hope because their situation is not the result of chance or unpredictable evil. For God himself says, I carried Judah into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon in Jeremiah 24 verse 9. Though evil seems to surround them, Judah has never left the centre of God's hands. Second, God tells his people that they should not give up hope because he can work even within their present difficulties. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. And that's verse 7. Third, God tells his people that they should not give up hope because he is going to bring an end to their exile at a specific time. This is what the Lord says when 70 years are completed for Babylon. I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. In verse 10. After God explains how he was in charge of their past, is in charge of their presence, and will be in charge of their future, he then beautifully conveys his tender care for his people in the next five verses, in Jeremiah 29, verses 11 to 14. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. 
Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord. I will bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away, captive. And so to finish the day, reread Jeremiah 29, 11-14, saying your name after the word you, as if... God is making these promises to you personally. Apply these promises for yourself in whatever your present struggles might be. Now, I'm going to do it with my name, but I invite you to do it with yours. Jeremiah 29, beginning at verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, Percy, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me, and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you, Percy. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, Percy, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. I will gather you, Percy, from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, Percy, says the Lord, and I will bring you, Percy, to the place from which I cause you, Percy, to be carried away captive. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.